Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue and Lisa Spencer Novak. Hi everybody. It's good to be back after being away, but that was a good visit I had at home for How Mother's Day. It was fabulous. So just, you know, I filled my bucket, so to speak. I got to see all the special people um, up there in Ohio. So I was really glad I went. It went fast, but and, but actually I'm glad to be back here mostly because of the weather. Um, <laughs> what is it like there? Oh gosh, it was it was really chilly. It was not How weird. their typical May weather. It was, I want to say in the 40s, oh, yuck. 50s during the day maybe, and it rained like nonstop on Mother's Day. But we were inside and doing things, so it was good. Everybody's vaccinated, so that was nice. We didn't have to worry about being together, so yay. So you hope, brought some of that rain with you. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah, you learn to appreciate rain when you don't have it, that's for sure. So we are heading out to vacation today to see Jasmine Tiger. And I have learned, I think we're good. I have learned um, to prep these things a little bit. I have one of our keepers um, giving, getting ready to give her a sickle so that she won't mind coming out. <laughs> so... Because I thought, oh, it's a hot day today, and you know, you get into the afternoon, and it can be cat nap time, um, especially now. Simba Tiger snoozing over there. Hi, Simba. So we definitely want to be sure that we get her hydrated before this. Oh, thank you, Daniel, for the Mother's Day wishes. He wished us both a happy Mother's Day. Oh, that's very sweet. So I, you know, I go away for one week, you know, and there's all kind of stuff going on. I guess Kali's got this whole new enclosure or access getting ready to happen. So yeah, there's always things going on. That's for sure. And coming up on my favorite time, as much as I love teaching, I, I get to spend more time here at Big Cat Rescue um, once June rolls around. I can spend some extra days here, so I always look forward to that. When is school out? I, my last day is May 28th. Wow. Yeah, the kids' last day is May 26th, but we go back on August 3rd, teachers. So, up, oh, she's true to her word. She's got the sickle ready. <laughs> Way to go, Barbara Ann. Love it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I fell off my bike. Sounds good to me. Oh, what was that? Brain freeze? It took me a while to get her over to the Oh, I bet. And without that sickle, I don't think it would have happened. Where <laughs> she? She was underneath a tree way out there. Oh, out there, yeah. What kind of sickle does she have? Blood sickle. Always a favorite. Take your time. She's yeah. <laughs> she's going for the. Let's make sure this is working. Check. 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 Yep. check. Very good. All right. So I decided on this song. Um, it suits Jasmine, I think, suits her personality and also the fact that she's on vacation right now. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon about to go to space. In the air like 
like I don't care, baby, by the way. Cause I'm happy to come along if you feel like a room without a roof. Cause I'm happy to come along if you know that happiness is the truth. Cause I'm happy to come along if you know what happiness is to you. Cause I'm happy to come along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Here come bad news talking this and that. Give me all you've got, don't hold back. I should probably warn you, I'll be just fine. No offense to you, don't waste your time. Cause I'm happy to clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Cause I'm happy to clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Cause I'm happy to come along if you know what happiness is to you. Cause I'm happy to come along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Bring me down, can none. Bring me down, my level's too high. Bring me down, can none. Bring me down, my level's too high. Bring me down, I'm happy. Bring me down, my level's too high. Bring me down, can not Bring me down, cause I'm happy to clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Cause I'm happy to clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Cause I'm happy to clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Cause I'm happy to clap along if you what you want to do. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Cause I'm happy clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Cause I'm happy clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Cause I'm happy clap along if you know what that's what you want to do. I love it. Love it. And I don't think there's anything more happy than a tiger with a blood cell. <laughs> she got All dinner and a show. So it just never stops being amazing to see this happiness in this tiger and all the tigers here. Um, when you know what they have experienced in their past. Oh, what do you think? Want to shower? Is that fun? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you want to tell them what that noise is she's making? She is chuffing. That means happy. She's singing the song I just sang. <laughs> um, that's her happy song. It's my happy song. She's got that hose going. She's got her sickle, and you know life is good right now. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you saw um, in the news about this tiger that was just walking in this neighborhood in Houston. And um, unfortunately, Jasmine and Duchess and Sapphire and Jinx all came from maybe not the same kind of um, suburban neighborhood, but from somebody who kept them. Um, privately <laughs> and not as nice not a neighborhood <laughs> yeah definitely not as nice a neighborhood and unfortunately um we got them because ohio has strict laws against that but unfortunately texas does not although i guess houston does as a city or some weird combination so uh this happens also in florida so most of the tigers that are in captivity are in texas and florida which is a really sad state of affairs. Um, you can see that hopefully behind Jasmine here that this vacation rotation is two and a half acres. And that's really good for her, for a tiger that's in captivity, but not anywhere near what her territory would be if she was living in the wild as tigers are meant to live. But she gets to enjoy this for a month. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> hey, lady with the hose, come back. <laughs>
I'll have more of that. <laughs> oh, now that makes her think she wants a drink. <laughs> but I really think what it boils down to is choice. You know, just that she has choice. You know, it seems like such a small thing, but it's not a small thing that she has choice. I can sit here and enjoy my blood sickle, or I can get up over here and have a drink of water, or I can be way out there and I cannot bother with any of you. Which is what I, she was doing before we came. <laughs> yeah, and seriously, um, it's choice, I think, is really what the critical difference is. Nothing is ever done here to these cats that is put on them, uh, which includes breeding. We never breed. And that's one of the big problems with the tiger situation. The reason why there are so many tigers is people think it's fun and cute to hold a pet tiger, a little tiny tiger cub, but that window is very small and then they have to keep breeding and breeding and breeding. And nobody ever bothers to find out what happens to those cute little tiger cubs when they're not cute little tiger cubs anymore. And on it goes. So the best thing you all can do is uh, contact your representatives and your senators about the Big Cat Public Safety Act which will put an end to all of this um, breeding of tigers in captivity. And you can do that at bigcatact.com. We make it really easy for you. We give you a pre-written email, a pre-written tweet, and even a script to call on the phone. And if you call on the weekend, you'll just get an answering machine. So it's not scary. Were you done with your sickle? <laughs> she said, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a perfectly awesome week. We'll see you next Sunday.